congratulations to both of you for being here and to your families. General Sessions' failure to recognize his obligation to this body, I thought it was important for me to make sure that you clearly understand this obligation. And you do understand this obligation, right? I believe I do, Senator. Okay. I think Senator Sessions should come back. I think he owes it to this committee to come back and to explain himself because he, he also says in his letter, uh, may I just, I will not, I, this will be very short. Uh, he says having, let's see, I did not mention communications I had with the Russian ambassador over the years because the question did not ask about them. I asked him what he would do as Attorney General if it was true that members of the campaign had met with the Russians. So he says, I did not mention communications I had with the Russian ambassador over the years because the question did not ask about them. He answered a question I didn't ask. He should come back and explain himself, Mr. Chairman. I think he owes that to us. Because this appears to me like he was, uh, and I have been, I've bent over backward, not to say that he lied. You probably should have given him a chance to uh, uh, get the information you had and reflect on it and give an answer in writing. Now, the way, the way I tend to, and you, you, both of you know that I said this to you when you were in the privacy of my office. If I was going to ask you a gotcha question, I was going to tell you about it ahead of time. And I consider what Senator Franken asked Sessions at that late moment that that story just come out as a gotcha question. And it was not a gotcha question, sir. It was from the standpoint I, that he I, didn't know what you were asking about. But I said that as I was asking the question, Senator I said Tillis. you don't haven't heard this, and I don't expect that you have heard it. Senator Tillis. Look at the tape, Mr. Senator, Chairman. Thank you, please. Mr. Chair. CNN has just published a story, and I'm telling you this. Uh, about a news story that's just been published. I'm not expecting you to know <laughs> whether or not it's true or not. But CNN just published a story alleging that the intelligence community provided documents to the president-elect last week that included information that, quote, Russian operatives claimed to have compromising personal and financial information about Mr. Trump. These documents also allegedly stated, quote, there was a continuing exchange of information during the campaign between Trump surrogates and intermediaries for the Russian government. Now, again, I'm telling you this as it's coming out, so, uh, you know. But if it's true, it's obviously extremely serious. And if there is any evidence that anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign communicated with the Russian government in the course of this campaign, what will you do? Senator Franken, I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. I have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I did not have, not have communications with the Russians, um, and I'm unable to comment on it. 